crafty friends, it's Jess from JessCrafts.com, and today I'm here with another One Sheet Wonder. This One Sheet Wonder was originally inspired and shared in a paper pad tutorial, specifically the P13 Autumn collection that I recently shared. I'll link it in the video description, but it includes these one and a half by two inch cut aparts, and I wanted to create a design around that that would leave you no scraps and let you use that cut apart design. However, for today's video, I'm not going to be using something with those cut aparts, and I'm just going to be using the One Sheet Wonder as kind of like as designed and intended, um, you know, with just some simple pattern paper. This is the Spellbinders Christmas Traditions Collection. I picked a red tone on tone pattern and a green tone on tone pattern, and I'm going to mix them together. You could, of course, just do this with one sheet of paper. You don't need to use two, but if you like to mix up the colors and you have single sided paper, Two sheets will let you do that. Um, if you have double-sided paper, a lot of times you can just use the design from each side. If you want to see how it was used with cut-aparts, you can reference the paper pad tutorial, but also basically when I had a whole sheet of the cut-aparts at one and a half by two inches, which I have seen in other collections besides P13, um, you can cut all the cut-aparts in one sheet, and then you'll see that this to template because this is a PDF template available on my blog so you can um, download it and you'll see exactly what to cut and all the measurements so you don't really need to worry about in the measurements that I'm making right now. You'll cut one where it's all just the cut aparts and then this this template is broken in half so it shows you how to cut half of the paper into the strips that you need. So if you're going to use the cut aparts you just take the half that needs to be cut into strips and you cut a whole sheet of just the strips and then a whole sheet of the cut aparts and that's how it'll work for those if you need them. Today's template is going to have eighth inch mats because I always like to, I don't always use them but I really do prefer the mats now. I've kind of gotten used to the way that it looks and I do think it provides a more finished look on a um, on these simpler cards but you could go without the mats, but they're gonna be an eighth of an inch today. And if you go any bigger, everything just doesn't kind of work out on this card. I usually prefer the quarter inch just because the measurements are a little bit easier and more straightforward. And I find when I do an eighth of an inch, I'm more likely to, for things to just not look even on all sides. And it's probably user error. It's probably that I cut too quickly I don't measure as precisely or something like that, but I'm just more of a quarter inch kind of person in terms of what I like, but this one had to have the eighth inch to make it work. So basically you're gonna cut two long rectangles for the top and bottom of your card, and then two mats for them. And then you're gonna cut the three one and a half by two inch pieces that, you know, again, were inspired by those cut aparts, inspired by the necessity of making that paper pad tutorial work without scraps. Now, what becomes awkward is you're left with this little tiny three quarters by one and a half inch piece um, that in the paper pad tutorial, because I was using cut aparts and they had images all over them, I didn't want to do it the way that the sketch suggests. That you'll be also, you know, the sketch, so the template and the sketch are part of the download. So that's over on the blog. You you know, you'll see how it works out and all the measurements are on the sketch as well. But you have this little strip and it doesn't work so well when you're using cut aparts, but when you're using regular pattern paper, it does. So maybe you don't need that little strip or maybe you don't like it and you don't care about scraps, you can just toss it. Or you can put it on the inside of the card and make a little banner. But today I wanna to show you the way that I kind of intended the sketch, which was to take this little piece and use it as a sentiment focal point on your card. Originally, I was gonna place it off to the right as it shows in the sketch, but you can place on whichever one of them works for you. And when I ultimately decided on the design, I placed it in the center. When you are assembling this One Sheet Wonder, I would recommend placing the strip on the top and the bottom first so that you can make sure everything is equidistant um, from the top and bottom of the card and the sides and all that. And then take your two of your one and a half by two inch rectangles and place those down lining them up with the outside edges of those long pieces and then finally just centering your middle rectangle. 
because the amount of space between everything is a little bit uneven to make this design work. So like there's more space between the two red or the, I guess, three red rectangles than there is between the red rectangle and the green rectangle at the top. And so if you try to make everything spaced evenly, that's going to um, be kind of frustrating to you. So instead, place the red rectangles on the side and then the center. Okay. Finishing off the card, I decided to use die cuts today. I like to color and I like to feature stamps, but I know that not everyone is into it. So I just kind of wanted to show like how I might finish off a card with die cuts. Plus, I have some die sets that just don't get a lot of use. And so I wanted to encourage myself to, to do something that's a little bit different for me and uses some different supplies. This is the Winter Critters add-on set. I really liked working from Lawn Fawn and I really liked working with the Lawn Fawn Critter, Critter Huggers. And they're really cute. I have a ton of videos on my channel about how to use them. And I made all kinds of different animals with them. Like I think it makes like three animals in the original, but then I thought of all kinds of different ways to use it. And I made like a pig and a cow and a sloth and all that with the Critter Huggers. But these are the accessories, the winter accessories. And I'm gonna use their accessories as like the focal points of my card. And I'm gonna use two mittens and two presents. And I cut them out of craft and red card stock and green card stock for the bow. So just to kind of match up with the different colors in my card here, there are gonna be four cards in total. I'm just showing you one completed card. And I also used a Feliz Navidad sentiment, which is from a tailored expressions stamp set. It stamps a whole bunch of Christmas sentiments at once and die cuts a whole bunch of Christmas sentiments at once. So it's really convenient if you're making a lot of cards, but you wouldn't mind having a few different sentiments. So this is going to be one of the four completed cards. And that will be it for my video today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment or share this video. If you'd like to see more videos about how to use your supplies, such as One Sheet Wonder tutorials, please subscribe and click the bell to get notifications. I will link all the products I can in the video description and link you to my blog where you can download any templates or get more information. For even more inspiration, come find me on Instagram or check out these two videos here at the end. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day.